Okay, so I recently rewatched Predator, and uh, yeah, it's great. You know, it's a really entertaining movie. Maybe not quite as good as Alien, but pretty damn close, I think. So let's just get into it. Really solid visuals. Let's get into the sp sp let's get into the specifics, though. First thing, camera composition. The movie's just really well shot. There's a lot of just well framed shots throughout it, and considering it's just out in a jungle. You know, it gets look cluttered, but it doesn't. The way they compose the shots is really good. And along with that, camera movements are really good too. Just the way they walk through the jungle and everything. It really immerses you into this location. Um, it's really well done. I really liked how uh, John McTiernan uh, just directed this film. Um, I think he did a really good job. Alright, moving on to another thing. With the, the visuals... Wide shots. This movie, this is not something I noticed as um, until kind of this viewing, and it's just one particular shot, but throughout the movie, there are good shots um, that are somewhat wide. Maybe you'd call them even a mid shot, but they're like far enough to see kind of like the full frame of the characters, so I guess you could say they're like a wide shot. But one particular bit I really like, and it's probably my favorite shot in the whole movie, is when the Predator's shooting at Arnold at night time, and it goes dark, and then when it comes back to light from the explosion, it, it, every shot kind of goes a bit further back. It cuts further back, and it's such a beautiful shot. I don't know, something about it. Definitely my favourite shot in the entire movie, that's for damn sure. Um, next thing, uh, the character and creature design. Again, maybe not quite as good as Alien, I think, personally, but still a really awesome-looking you know, creature design. And on top of that, the costuming of it. It's all practical. It's an actual thing they made and it's so cool. Like it, it feels still pretty damn real. And that's what's so cool about it is it's, it's all practical for the most part. There's a few CG things here and there. I think when it's jumping through the trees and one bit kind of like when it's invisible and whatnot, you know, but when you actually see it, it's actually real for the most part. That's, that's really cool that they, they actually committed to doing a costume and all that type of stuff. Um, moving on to the next thing, number six, uh, the acting. Um, now, that being said, not great dramatic performances, but just really entertaining performances, okay? Just really engaging actors that just look like they're really having fun with making this movie, and it, and it you know, it makes you have fun, especially in that first half, like that act like just true, full-on badasses. You know, it's fun. It's really cool, and it's, it's very engaging how they do it. All right, the next thing along with the acting, the line delivery, particularly when they're taking out that village with all those people, um, all those, like, guys with the guns and everything, and he pushes the car off the thing, and <laughs> explosions and everything. It's such a cool scene, but just the dialogue as well. You know, Arnold, like, kicking down the door, knock, knock, and then... <laughs> and you got time to duck, and just all this, like, just... <laughs> it's just really funny line delivery. Uh, yeah, just really fun, you know? Uh, next thing, the music. Uh... The opening credits with that or however the heck it goes so good so good I, I, I love it it's it's really awesome it just gets you pumped um, and it kind of sounds like the predator that kind of uh, yeah it's just, it's really cool I, I love it and then just that song they use when they're flying in on the chopper too that old song or whatever that rock song or whatever it's just it's awesome you know and that adds to the whole badass characters as well that music <laughs> All right, the next thing, uh, the humor. And now this is in the, kind of like that first half once again, just how the characters interact and all that. It just, it makes it fun and it makes it kind of real. Like you, you imagine people would, you know, be like this, especially if they're just ultra badasses. You could see them just kind of joking around and talking shit to each other. You know, you, you could see that, you know. Um, next thing is uh, brutal and shocking moments. This is something that's, funny with this movie and actually I should bring up the case of it so yeah there's my thumbnail right there <laughs> yeah so but this is what's surprising this movie is rated M right it's rated M right rated M uh, there's moments in this where I'm like damn this is like MA like the swearing for one I'm surprised I'm really surprised this is rated M like for real but anyway uh, like it's rated M, and there's like dudes getting shot up, there's blood and everything in it. I'm honestly surprised. I feel like today it would be MA. But anyway, 
it's it's quite brutal and shocking just what the predator does it rips a dude's spine out and it's just like wow but uh you know it adds to the whole experience i guess of just how you know menacing this creature is and it makes it more tense i guess because of what this creature is capable of all right next thing uh the build-up this movie doesn't rush i feel too particularly like it really kind of sets things up and that's it too you see dude like a dude skinned alive i don't get it how's it rated m Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, the build-up, it really takes its time, and I like how they show the Predator's vision and all that stuff. It just creates that, you know, this uh, this um, ominous feeling of this, you know, um, upcoming event, you know, this creature going to mess them up, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think the build-up's really good, too. Next thing, the concept. Just, you know, um, this thing hunting down these people, they're all these big badasses, but then this creature comes along says, who are you, with this big cannon, and just messes them up with this claw thing, you know, they couldn't do shit for the most part, until Arnold figured out, like, a weakness, or, you know, whatever, um, you know, it wasn't strength that won the day, it was more, you know, their mind, and trying to figure out and strategize how to beat it, not by, um, brute strength. Next thing, uh, well, the last thing, actually, rewatchability, um, Hell, I wouldn't even be surprised if I watched this movie again soon because it's so good. It's such a fun movie. It's just such a, as I said, all these elements here are done really well, and I think it's a really entertaining movie, really fun to watch, uh, just great, you know, great filmmaking. Uh, yeah, it's 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 um it's surprising that it's it's seen as like a classic. I guess I I think people see this movie as a classic, right? Um, I sure hope so. I, I consider it to be, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this movie, uh, Predator. So, 13 things I liked about it. So, yeah, um, you know, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the film. Um, ne positive or negative. I know there are some people that don't like it. I remember hearing some critics saying they didn't like it, how they really exaggerate the whole badassness of the characters. But I think it, it just makes it fun. You know, I, I, I don't really mind that at all. I think it just... Uh, I think they did that well. I didn't think they it was overbearing for me personally. Uh, I think it worked fine. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this review. And uh, you can check out my letterbox, you know, and down in the description below, you can see all the things I liked about it. You know, if you didn't catch it on, catch on to it in this video, you can just see the list down below. So, um, yeah, catch us next time, eh?